Okay, back into the last stages of our Kakadu sunset. Starting to come alive. Just before the break, we were talking about the uh, breaking up the background there. I think one of the easiest way to do that might be actually get a little bit of colour back in that background just a little bit, just to break it up just a bit from the foreground. See, it looks better already. We'd even get a little bit of yellow in there in places where the sun's coming through. That looks fine. Okay, we're going to continue on with our liner. We're doing our palm fronds. So we're going to go from our lights first into our dark so we don't have to even clean the brush. So light side where the sun is, that's what we're looking at. Get those yellows in there. A couple over here as well, up nice and high. Just roll that brush around, flick it. Get it to come to a nice point. A lot of people have a bit of trouble with that. Uh, just getting your brush to come to a point. So the easiest way to think about it is as you flick that around, you're also pulling it back so that you get that thin line right at the end. You don't want the palm looking like a great big lump at the end, even though some bits might be. It's not really how it's supposed to be. So a bit of light up there as well. Let's get some lights over here. Also, we'll pick up a bit of orange in the shadow side. And over here as well. Looking good. We can even pick up a little bit of this colour that we've got here, and that is the Volution Violet. You watch it, we'll put it in the shadow side because it's in the painting, it's in the sky, it's got to be in that shadow somewhere. And that's how you've got to think all the time. You put it in that sky, it's got to be in the painting. Okay, here we are. So we can get a little bit of the, uh, the Volution Violet in the shade side of those trunks or leaves or whatever they are, even put them on the trunk. Looks beautiful, look at that. There's that Volution Violet on there. Get those branches rolling over and even hit it with a bit of a brush in here to give us a bit of colour as well. Just about done. We're going to put some, probably put, should put some birds in here, a lot of birds up there. A bit of that yellow just towards the front of it, like the sun's just shimmering. That's a little bit too sharp, that, but that's okay. Looks all right. Get a bit of that colour in there in the painting. A little bit of a fan, not much, just enough to touch it. A few lines in the water. And we're just about done. Don't forget we're using the W oils wash up in water, so that's not a problem. Keep your place nice and tidy and clean. No smells, no solvents. Fantastic. Okay, get that bit of a white happening in there on the reflection and take it right through some of these as well. Bit of the yellow ochre, right through behind those palms in the shade. As you get around the corner, you're gonna go darker so we can go into the violet and the yellow ochre. Another bit of violet there. Needs a little bit of light just there, just here and there as well. So that's not looking too bad. Actually, it looks all right. All right. Just about ready to go, needs a couple of birds in there. So you're welcome to have a look online. There's uh, been a fantastic response with the painting, so I'd like to thank you all for that too. Uh, we've even had a lot of people who bought uh, a lot more than one from the TV show, so it's great value. Might even put a different bird in here, just one taking off. Bit of an egret or something just taking off from this bank here, just for something a little different. Here we go. Just about done. We're going to put the frame on it shortly. And we don't want that. That's supposed to be a leg under there. We'll get rid of that. And take that out. Need a little shadow under that painting as well, under the bird. Put him an eye and a beak. Can't see that. There he is. There's his beak. Bit of shadow under his wing. And just under his body as well, just to break it up from there. And we can even put a couple of legs there, just like he's taking off. And we better sign it quickly. We want to put the frame on it because it makes all the difference. Here we go. I want to pick a nice colour to, uh, to sign it with. I think we'll go with a bit of yellow ochre over here in the corner. In the dark. There we are. That stands out nicely. So we've used all the colours in the painting, including the signature. So we've limited our palette. 
just finish that off. And we'll throw the frame on. So don't forget, thank you all very much for watching Art Studio and your continued support. I'm going to put this on, should set it right off. There we go, finished product. Have a look at that, another one for you to have a practice at. Great little scene, looks fantastic in the frame. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time on Art Studio.